Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris from SocietyofStrength.com and I'm here with you today for another bro lesson. Uh, it's a little bit late here at night. Uh, my family's already asleep, uh, so I figured I'd shoot a quick little video for you guys about uh, a lesson that I learned today in the gym. Uh, this lesson today is all about overcoming fear. Now, let me tell you, i got to backdate this a little bit. Uh, let me tell you a quick little story. Uh, back when I was 24, I was very big into the powerlifting scene. Uh, and I wound up hurting myself pretty bad. Um, I was trying to squat 405. I got up for one. Uh, the second one actually rolled off my back. And I tried to dip under it and catch it. It just didn't happen. I wound up compressing two discs in my spine. And I was paralyzed from the waist down for three days. I was actually in a wheelchair for three days. And uh, the, the long and the short of it is this. Uh, ever since then... Uh, I've always kind of had this this fear uh, deep down inside about re-hurting myself. And uh, for 13 years now, I've never put uh, anything heavier than 225 pounds on my back. And th th that's, uh, that's a pretty crippling thing when you love lifting weights and you love squatting and you love deadlifting. Uh, and I, I just, yeah, I watched a video this morning. Uh, it's an older video uh, from my one of my mentors and, and a friend, Elliot Hulse. Uh, and he had a video up about uh, being a slave uh, to fear. And I realized that's exactly what I what I was. Uh, and I, I don't, I didn't care for that feeling at all. Uh, so what I decided today was I, I was going to conquer my fear. Uh, and no matter what happened, I was going to try to to squat that 405 again. I'd always had this little voice in the back of my head that said, you know, Chris, if, if you do that, uh, you're going to get hurt. Uh, and if you get hurt, you can't earn a living and you can't support your family. Uh, so I never did it before. I decided today that, that enough was enough. And uh, I've got a good training partner in Don. Uh, and I, I know he can spot me. And I know I'm, 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 I'm feel, I feel really safe. Uh, with Don as he spots me. Uh, so I decided I was going to give it a try today and failure just wasn't an option. Uh, so the long and the short of it is uh, not only did I hit that weight that's haunted me for 13 years uh, once, but I did it twice and I did it handily twice. I probably could have actually hit it five times. Uh, so the, I broke a plateau and I broke past a fear. Uh, not only did I feel really, really awesome uh, about hitting the, hitting the lift, uh, but I, I felt amazing because I broke through the plateau of uh, being afraid to lift the weight. So what I can tell you guys is this. Uh, the bro lesson for the day is if you're afraid to do something, you have to do it. Uh, don't wait 13 years uh, to, to live up to your, your best potential and your fullest potential. Uh, we're, we're taught to be the best and the strongest versions of ourselves. And if you're afraid to do something, do it anyway. If, if, you're, if it scares you to, to do whatever it is that you're trying to do, inside or outside of the gym, uh, if you're afraid to step out of your comfort zone uh, and take a risk, uh, you're always going to fail. So in lieu of always failing, if, if you try... And even if you fail when you try, you, at least you tried, and you learn from those mistakes, and you learn from your failures. So the lesson is this. Conquer your fear. Overcome your fear. And you're going to be a much, much stronger version of yourself. So until next time, guys, uh, this is another bro lesson uh, from SocietyofStrength.com. Uh, and uh, keep those questions coming.